Hello everyone, so this is a very quick video today. It is New Year's Eve and I'm just about to go out for the evening because, you know, I'm young, I'm gonna have fun. My original plan was to have a night in. Now I've been convinced to go out and I did think like, I'm 21 years old, I need to make the most of my youth, party into the new decade, 2020, here we come. I'm quite excited actually, I think I'm gonna have a fun evening. I'm not gonna stay out too late. I've got my lift home arranged already for 1 p.m. It's not going to be a wild night, but I am going to see in the new year. And what better time to make my goals for 2020? Let's write them down. Let's speak them into existence. So my number one goal for this year is to get a 2-1 in my degree. Please, please, please. I really, really want it. And it's not easy to get. Cambridge is hard. It's going to be hard work. I'm going to have to put in many, many hours of studying. My final exams are in June and I just want to ace them. There's going to be four exams. I've got a piece of coursework still to complete and I just want to do well. I'm obviously going to put my best effort in. We'll see what happens. But yeah, a 2-1 would be lovely. I could be graduating. Like I might be leaving university at the end of this year. So to leave on a high on a 2-1 would be really good. My second goal is to go for a run or go to the gym at least once a week. This might sound a bit pathetic. I've heard other people saying I need to go at least five times a week, but guys, we've got to set realistic goals for ourselves. And let's face it, I've been for three runs in the past four months I think which is quite appalling. I'm kind of making it flexible because I just want to be doing some form of exercise so maybe one week when I don't go for a run I'll just go to the gym and use some of the cardio machines there. When it comes to weight stuff at the gym I'd like to learn some weight stuff but I'm not sure whether I'll be doing it on a regular basis but definitely running is the key thing I want to really keep up throughout the whole of this year. I actually really enjoy running and it's also really easy as a student to spend so much time just sitting down, turning into a lump and not doing anything. I need to be exercising so there we go, setting some fitness goals this year. My third goal is to read at least 10 books this year as in 10 books for fun, so it doesn't count any sort of sciencey books or science papers. When I was younger, I used to read all the time. I always had my head stuck in a book. These days, I barely read at all. I'm always watching TV and I just wish I read more. So I'm gonna change that this year. I got a Kindle for Christmas. So I'm gonna download all my books on my Kindle and I know I'll read over summer because I always read over summer, but I also want to keep myself reading throughout the year. But I'm only saying 10 books because I want to be realistic and I know I'm going to be busy with my degree work and all my social activities and YouTube and it all takes time. So I just want to fit in reading somewhere. So my fourth goal is to learn to cook better because technically I can cook. I can throw pasta in a pan and boil it. I can do myself a jacket potato. I can shove a pizza bought from Sainsbury's into the oven. But to be honest, I don't really like pasta and short bought pizzas are not my favorite. I want to be able to cook stuff that I actually enjoy eating and just be less dependent on the university cafeteria. Very soon my life is going to come to a point where I don't have a university cafeteria to go to. I'm going to be no longer a student and needing to fend for myself and cook for myself and nice nutritious meals are going to be necessary. So I want to learn to cook those. I don't think I'll struggle too much. In the past, I just haven't really made an effort to cook. I haven't shown an interest in learning how to cook. I think what I'm aiming for is to be able to invite someone round for dinner and cook them a meal and for them to go, oh, that was quite tasty. That's what I'm going to class as knowing how to cook. Leading on from that, my fifth goal is also food related and it's to go for the vegetarian option more. At this point in my life, I just don't feel like I can go full vegetarian, but I know eating meat has a big effect on the environment. And I also never allow myself to make the link in my head between the meat on my plate and the animal it came from because otherwise I feel too bad to eat it. So for both ethical reasons and environmental reasons, I would like to cut down my meat intake. I've kept this one quite vague, just saying go for the vegetarian option more because I'm not sure how easy it will be to keep track of how many times I have a vegetarian meal each week. Goal number six is to reach 200,000 subscribers subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> Will it happen? I don't know, but I think it's quite fun to aim for. Obviously, I can't control my sub count myself. I can't force people to subscribe, 
but I can focus on putting great content out there all year for you guys. I do want to have a regular upload schedule, all that. I really enjoy doing YouTube. Making YouTube videos is so much fun. So I just want to keep that up throughout 2020. It honestly blows my mind at the minute that I have about 140 something thousand of you watching me that's just crazy at the moment that subscriber count so i mean anything above that is obviously a bonus but it would be nice it'd be very fun to hit 200,000 this year my seventh goal is to pass my obs test an obs test is a thing at university which the astronomical society run and it's basically a test that makes sure you are competent at using the telescopes for observing the night sky there's actually quite a lot of stuff to remember to make sure you're using the telescope scopes in the correct way and not going to damage them or anything. I need to go to another OBS demo which is a training session, take some more notes and then sign up for this test. I'd like to pass first time so I guess yeah my goal is to pass my OBS test first time and hopefully I'll be doing that in the next few weeks and then actually just being able to go to the telescopes whenever I like and having a look at the stars because stars are cool are they not? Goal number eight is to stress less. I haven't actually planned out how I'm going to do this yet, but basically in the last few years I've been stressing a lot, especially about academic stuff, and I just think it's unnecessary and it makes me unhappy. I just can't keep stressing like I do at the moment. I'm going to get grey hairs soon and we definitely don't want that. My mum suggested meditation, yoga, so I might try that out. I need to set out a plan, find out, how logistically am I going to reduce my stress levels? But yeah, just stress less is the big goal for this year. Goal number nine is to travel somewhere. Don't know where my destination is going to be, but I want to leave the country this year and go on a holiday or an adventure. It'll definitely be after my exams this year because the first half of this year is going to be solid head down studying, let's get this degree. But possibly in the summer, I'd like to go abroad somewhere, somewhere new as well, somewhere I've never been before. And my final goal, number 10, is to improve my coding skills. I've always said I'm really bad at computers, I'm really bad at coding, but I'll tell you what guys, I don't think I've ever properly tried. I reckon I can manage it and I have been having a go at MATLAB, Python, I'm even using LaTeX now instead of Microsoft Word for writing up reports, which is really good, and I think just forcing myself to use them more is going to get me more in tune with them, because I think I've definitely got MATLAB and Python at a base level now but I want to be quick at them, snappy at them. Unfortunately in my second year of university our computing project got cancelled and I think my coding skills are further back than I'd like them to be compared to some of my course mates because they've done coding outside of their studies, outside of university so I want to get myself up to the level that other people are at and it's just a really useful skill in life. It's good to put on the CV. So yeah, I definitely want to get better at coding. And that's it. They are my goals for 2020. We'll see how I do at hitting them. But yeah, I'm going to shimmy my way into 2020 this evening. I'm going to head off and go meet my friends. But thank you very much for watching this video. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below to see more videos from me. Hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. Follow me over on my Instagram, which is at underscore page underscore Y. And I'll see you soon with another video, guys. And Happy New Year. Bye.